Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andrew from AR Media. In tonight's video, I want to review Cloverfield in 4K UHD Blu-ray. I give this a watch tonight, and I want to go over the movie itself, the picture quality, the audio quality, if it's worth the double dip. Let's get to it. Now Cloverfield was a favorite of mine when it came out, and the reason for that was the awesome marketing campaign behind it. I remember following it really heavily in 2007. There was just a lot of speculation about this movie. There was MySpace pages made for every cast member in the movie. There was websites, tons of websites dedicated to this movie, all about the backstory and about the Japanese company that he goes to work for. And there was just so much hype built up around this movie. And I saw it in theaters back in 2008 and I really, really enjoyed it. I was pumped to see it come to the 4K format. I just really enjoyed this found footage style. Back then in 2008, it wasn't really used and abused yet. Now it's pretty used and abused and I get pretty sick of it if it's not something original. But Cloverfield did it in an original way and we still haven't seen too many disaster movies in the first person view like this. And it's definitely, a favorite of mine so I had to pick it up. Now let's get to the picture quality. So this is a 2K digital intermediate upscale to 4K and I have to be honest with you that did not surprise me here. So the thing is with this movie is how much of a uptick am I really supposed to expect when all this was shot found footage on a consumer camera in 2007-2008. I mean this is going to be 1080p maximum, probably 720 for back then, and that's the thing. So the uptick you get here is nice, but it's nothing to write home about. It's nothing that's going to, you know, really pop off the screen and make you notice that you're watching the 4K version just from the resolution uptick alone. Don't get me wrong, it does look better than the Blu-ray presentation. It is a lot cleaner, it is sharper but it's just not leaps and bounds ahead of the Blu-ray presentation like I was hoping it would be, but the thing is that I, after thinking about it, it can't be. For the cameras that it's supposed to be shot on and the shaky cam, it just it wouldn't even work if it was super sharp. It just wouldn't look real and it wouldn't look good. Now, a positive about this disc is that it's a full screen disc, so anybody watching on the TV, you will get full screen and it looks really good there and the sharpness and detail is good, but it's just, again, nothing to write home about. So the depth here is very good, I will say. Whenever the monster is coming at you, you will feel it here. There is a 3D effect. Not as standout as some other discs, but still a good effect there. Now let's get to the Dolby Vision, and that's where this disc stands out in my opinion. Most of this takes place at night, where there will be a mostly dark scene, and it will be lit with either New York City lights, um, lights from stores, stuff like that, or there will be an explosion, and there are lots of explosions, just firing missiles at the monster, and stuff like that looks phenomenal. Amongst the black skies at night, the vibrancy of those explosions, there's a ton of detail in there, and a lot of nuances to the colors, and the colors do pop off the screen when they have to. Also, some of the indoor screens as well, the color rendition is very good, especially after the Cloverfield monster attacks and everybody goes out and it's that goldiest haze. That is a very, very good scene for HDR and Dolby Vision. You can see a lot more detail in that scene specifically than you can on the Blu-ray. Now let's get to the audio quality. So this sadly does not have a Dolby Atmos mix, and this would have definitely benefited from one. So this has a Dolby True HD mix, and although it is good, it's no upgrade from the Blu-ray, and I think a Dolby Atmos with overheads would have definitely benefited on this disc. So anyway guys, I know this sounds like a bad review, but it's really not. It's just that this movie doesn't lend itself that great to the 4K upscale. The thing is that I love this movie, so I went out and got this day one just because how many times I've seen this movie and how much I love this and its sequel, I guess you could say 10 Cloverfield Lane. But for people who don't love the movie or maybe some blind buyers, maybe rent it first, see if you like it, and then go out and buy the 4K. Because don't get me wrong, it is an uptick. It brings a nice uptick in detail, a nice uptick in sharpness, and the colors are very nice, but it's nothing that is leaps and bounds like some other discs we've seen. Anyway, guys, let me know with your thoughts down below. Let me know if you picked it up. Subscribe down below for more content, and have a good night, guys.